I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw things for Thanksgiving dinner. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a dot, two fingers, and a dot, two fingers on the right and the left, and that's because I'm going to draw a tic-tac-toe grid. So I draw two straight lines going down, and now I'm going to draw two straight lines going across. And I'm doing that because each one of these spaces is going to hold something that I would have for my Thanksgiving dinner. So I'm going to start right here in the center, one finger, and put a dot. And I'm going to draw a little curve line up and a bigger curve line over. And I'm going to leave that floating. Because right there, I'm going to draw a little curve line leave it open and then a straight diagonal up little straight line straight diagonal down connect now i can continue that line connect jump over curve line down curve line over curve line across little curve line up and connect i come back to this section and i just draw curve line curve line curve line connect and right next to this, I draw a straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. And I'm going to put my curve line, curve line, curve line, connect on top. I come over here to the left and I draw a curve line over, straight line, curve line up. And I'm going to draw one, two, three baby circles. And here I'm going to draw one, two, three curved lines, one, two, three curved lines. Okay? Now I'm going to go right next door and I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a big curved line down and over. Come back to the dot, big curved line down, over, connect. Right at the center I'm going to put straight diagonal up straight line straight diagonal down inside I'm going to draw a curve line curve line keep going curve line curve line now on the right hand side I'm going to put a dot and from that dot I'm going to draw the letter V going down I come back to the dot and I draw a curve line out curve line in curve line down, come over here on the right hand side, curve line out, curve line in, curve line down, connect. Right in the center, I'm going to put a curve line up, over, connect, and I'm just going to put one, two, three, four little straight lines on top. I'm going to draw one, two, three straight lines inside and cross those one, two, three, all the way down my V. Okay? Now I come up on the upper right, put a dot, and I'm going to draw a curve line out, straight line, curve line, leave it floating, come back to the left, straight line down, straight line over, straight line up, connect. I'm going to mimic that line again. So it's little curve line, straight line, curve line, straight line, connect. Now come up to the top and just draw a straight line over, curve line down, straight line, connect. Follow this line, curve, straight, curve, straight. One more if you can fit it, curve, straight line, down. Now I come over to the middle section and I put a dot. And I'm going to draw a curve line, curve line, keep going, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. And then I'm going to come up on the left and I'm going to draw a curve line down, curve line up, curve line over, curve line up. Come on the right hand side, curve line down, curve line, 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 down, curve line
curve line over connect. Starting on the left, I'm just going to draw curve line, straight line, curve line, connect. Now I come over to this space, put a dot, and I'm going to draw a big curve line up and over. Now right where I stop, I draw a curve line up and over, connect. Now I draw one, two, three, curve lines, one, two, three, curve lines, one, two, three, curve lines. Right here, I'm going to draw a straight diagonal, straight line, straight diagonal, connect. Okay. I come all the way down here on the bottom, put a dot, draw a curve line over, up, curve line back, connect. This time I'm going to put a lot of little baby circles. Whoops, keep going. Lots of baby circles. Keep going. And on this side, let's put a straight line, curve line, straight line, connect. Now I come over to this middle section, put a dot. I'm going to put a little curve line, keep going, curve line, connect. Straight diagonal up, straight diagonal down. Wavy line behind, wavy line behind, one more, wavy line behind, connect. Now I put a little curve line, big curve line down, up, connect. Starting at the top, we're going to go curve line out, in, out, in, out, in, almost zigzag, huh? Curve line, zigzag, zigzag, in, little straight lines going down. Right next to it, put a dot, curve line in on the left, curve line in on the right, connect, put a little line, and let's do curve line out, zigzag, curve line out, zigzag, and a little straight line across the middle. And finally, in my last space, straight diagonal down, straight line over, straight diagonal up, leave it floating, <clears throat> come back to the left, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect, and a big curve line up, over, one, two, three, little straight lines on top. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, I'm going to start with my turkey and I'm just going to color him brown, like brown. And I like doing things in color order. So I look around and I try to see what else is brown. Well, this right here is my loaf of bread. So that's going to be, I'm going to put dark brown for the crust. And then I'll color the inside a different color. So these will be brown. And then these sections should also be brown. And you will do a way better job coloring than I am. Okay, now I look down and I think to myself, my pie crust should be brown. So I'm going to color the top part brown. Okay? Next color. I'm going to decorate all of my plates and bowls with a blue wavy, wavy line. Because for special holiday feasts, we would use the good china that all matched. Let's put this down here. Wavy, wavy. And my pie. This also unifies my dinner by color. So that's good. Next, if you have gray. You might not, but if you do. This is my serving spoon and my mashed potatoes. And my serving spoon. And my cranberries. So these should all be red. Cranberries. Okie dokie. Okay. Now I move over and this is a tomato for my salad that I haven't made yet but I pulled everything together. And these little garnishes on my turkey. I'll draw a couple of these red. And... I think that's all because the top part of my turnip, I'm going to do red violet. Okay. Next, 
I get out my green and I'm going to do my green stock for my pumpkin. I'm going to add a little bit of green down here for my turkey garnishes. This is lettuce, so this should all be green. Okie doke. This is the top of my carrot. This should be green. My turnip, that should be green. And my corn, the outside part of the corn, this should be green. Okay? Next, let's do yellow for my corn. These are mashed potatoes. I'm going to leave them white. And I'm going to use orange for my carrot. And I'm going to use orange on my pumpkin. All the way across. And then finally, I thought, first let's do the inside of my bread. So this is a lighter brown if you have one. If you don't, you can just use your regular brown lightly. And then this last thing I thought was pretty funny. My mom always made green jello. So curve line, curve line on the inside. I forgot that part. This should be black because it's a jello ring. I don't know if everybody else knows what those are, but they were that was a family tradition for us. We would always have a big jello ring that my mom used to make. Green jello. We called it green jello. It had all kinds of stuff inside of it. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here are my nine things for my Thanksgiving dinner. And I think I'm going to keep using this grid. This is a good idea, a tic-tac-toe grid for dividing up space for pictures. So get ready. There's going to be more of those coming. Okay, bye-bye.